Hey guys, we are back and today we are back in the garage because today we're going to be installing a new mod that goes under the hood of the JL. This is a mod that I've been putting off for quite some time. It's something I've had on a lot of my previous vehicles, but I just haven't gone around to getting it for the JL. This part is very easy to install, so I'm assuming this video is going to be fairly short, but I think it's going to be very useful for all of you because you'll be able to see how to install it properly. The part that I'm going to be installing is actually a KNN Performance Air Filter. This air filter is designed to replace the OEM air filter that goes in your OEM housing so you're not replacing the arm or anything. All it is is pulling out the old filter and putting in this new one. It is designed to give you added horsepower because it improves the airflow 50, up to 50%. It is also washable and reusable. That is the main reason that I go with these products is because these save me money in the long run. Every time I run to a dealership or a service station to get an oil change, they usually recommend, oh, we need to change your air filter. Well, with these, you don't have to. In fact, with this, you can get up to 75,000 miles before you have to do a cleaning. And when you get to that point to do the cleaning, all you have to do is pull them out, wash them, and put them back in. These go for about $65. I'll put a link below if you want to go check one out and get it for yourself. On today's video, because this install is very short to do, what I'm going to end up doing is also giving the engine bay a little bit of a spring cleaning so that it looks a little bit more like brand new. At this point, all we got to do is lower the Jeep behind me, get the front end down. We're going to show you guys how to get this installed and then we'll clean it up. So let's get at it. Okay, so now that we've got the Jeep set up and we're ready to access the engine bay, all we have to do now is show you guys where the air filter is. It is this box right here. And all we have to do is unscrew the four nine millimeter bolts on all four sizes, and then we'll be able to take off the cover to get to the filter. Next, we need to disconnect the box from the hose outlet by unscrewing this nine millimeter coupling here. Once that's loose, we can pull off the cover and get through that filter. Okay, so we've got the Canaan air filter in. You can see it's a much better looking product and looks a little bit more durable than what the stock Mopar ones are. Um, the Mopar one was definitely quite dirty. Um, I probably suggested a couple times while I was getting oil change that I didn't need to get this replaced because my intention was to get the Canaan air filter one so that I wouldn't have to do this anymore. Um, so this one definitely has seen some age to it. I'm glad to be replacing that. Probably see some improvement on the performance and the mileage. Um, at this point, we can just throw this out. Um, and all we have to go ahead and do now is bolt this back up, put the cover back on, and then we can get to cleaning the engine and then we'll be done for the day.
So guys, you can see the install of the K&N performance filter was very easy to do. It was simply five bolts to remove the cover, pull out the old filter, put it in the new, and then close it all up again. You can see I've got the engine bay all cleaned up. I don't think I've probably ever done this, so I definitely feel like this was a well-needed task, but you can see it looks amazing and it's ready to go for the summer season. With that being done, that means this video is over. So please like, subscribe, and share. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them below, and then I'll do the best I can to answer them. But at this point, guys, we will see you guys on the next video when I'll be hopefully installing a new part on this Wrangler.